Knitting Daily has been sponsored in part by I'd like to welcome Deb Robeson, and she's an author. She's actually, you're an expert in wool, true. Is yeah. that true? I love wool. Yeah. yeah. And a lot of people who knit with wool say it itches. Some wools are itchy okay. themselves, mechanically. I mean, the, Could the, the spin cause the itch? Um, yes, or can reduce it. Okay. Um, fine wools, like mm -hmm. merino over mm -hmm. here. Over here, yep. the green one. Yep. Here, I'll give that to yep. you. Um, and this is a swatch of merino? That's a swatch of merino. Okay. So. Um, and that's, we find merino in the stores, okay. um, labeled as merino, yes. and it's handy. Some merinos are finer than others, mm -hmm. so some people may find that the super fine merino okay. works for them when and nothing merino else does. And merino means breed, correct? Merino, merino is a breed of wool. Okay. Now, all of these yarns in front of us uh -huh. are breed-specific wools. And that it I says that on the label. Yeah, yeah, I picked up in one day at a fiber fair. Wow. Mostly, we have to deal without any information at uh -huh. all. So mostly what we buy just says wool. Yes. That wool that we get, cold worsted or whatever, is generally in this range. This is from finest to strongest okay. or coarsest. So normally you'd buy in this range is right what you're here. saying? Yeah. Okay. Occasionally, and the fiber looks like this? Yeah. So you see it is longer. Uh -huh. it's, if you could get really close to this, you'd see that the crimp is not as fine as here. Mm -hmm. Okay, the fiber diameter is slightly Now I can feel larger. the difference in this. Yes. It feels a little coarser, would that be fair to say? That's fair to say, okay. yes. Um, and this, this is really good next to the skin for most people. Okay. This, some people can do next to the skin, All and right. some people find it itchy. Okay. Um, however, the way that the yarn is spun makes a huge difference because we have down here stronger or coarser wools. Mm -hmm. um, one of those is Wensleydale, which mm -hmm. is uh, British long wool, and it's mm -hmm. considered coarse, but uh -huh. feel this. It doesn't feel coarse at all. And feel this. Yes. The and, reason... And this is a certain breed and spun a certain way. Yes, it's spun what's called worsted. We have knitting worsted, different yeah. word. Okay. Mm -hmm. Worsted yarns are spun so that all the fibers are running parallel to each oh, other. Okay. So you don't have a lot of little ends sticking out. Those okay. ends make for itch. Okay, ah, so that's good to know. Even a strong wool, if it's spun really smoothly, mm -hmm. can be itch free. Okay. Not for everybody, but for most people. Um, over here we have another strong wool. This is Cotswold. wool. This is um, mm -hmm. Lester and Long Wool. It does feel are, coarser. Yeah, because it was spun in a way that is fuzzier. It's oh. fuzzier. Oh, so, you can do that when you're spinning. Yeah. I always thought it was the wool content. It's not. No. Oh, it's that's what you do very when interesting. So. This. Okay. Okay. This is wool too. Oh my. That okay. doesn't look like wool. It doesn't look like wool. And this is the yarn spun from it. Yeah, I would have, if I, you'd have just laid that on the table and said it was linen. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is always going to itch. Okay. Okay. So there are some wools that, um, this has what's called camp okay. in it, which are these really coarse okay. fibers that aren't flexible. Okay. Now, we have had a lesson in the in the actual fiber and how it's spun. Yes. And now we'll move on to how we care for it, which would be you'd wash it in a certain wash to care for right. it. Right. Um, if you, okay, caring for wool is a matter of keeping it as close to how it grew as possible. Okay. Which means you don't want to dry it out. Uh-huh. Um, you don't want it to yellow and you don't want it to lose its luster. And okay. These wools have luster. Those mm -hmm. guys don't, just mm -hmm. naturally. Uh -huh. Um, which means that you've got to watch it in something that is gentle. Mm -hmm. um, the right pH, basically, okay. if people want to get into chemistry. Um, and then you want it to rinse out with no residue. Okay. Um, and But you also have a, a rinse. Yeah. The rinses are optional. Um, they're Like shampoo and conditioner? A lot like shampoo and conditioner. Okay. But, and I used to use shampoo and conditioner on my wools because it's hair. Um, but in fact, um, they make too much suds and they leave a residue. Oh, okay. So at this point, I use specific washes. Rinses can control static, and they can also keep the wool from drying out, which, which means you that it yeah. won't. It will last longer. It will last longer, okay. and it won't tend to itch. Well, Deb, now yeah. we've learned about the actual wool, yes. breed specific. Is that correct to yes, say? Yes, breed specific. How it's spun. Yes. And then how to care for it. Yeah. 
You are an expert. I love this stuff. Oh, I guess so. <laughs> I could talk to you for hours. Yeah.